If you would like to try something out a little different that not many people are doing, why don't we work on swimming a tube? I remember the first time that I fished with Art Ferguson on Lake St. Clair in Michigan and at that point in time he was a Bass Pro I believe they were calling it the Top 150 uh, Tour Pro and he had just recently won one of those tour events and we were filming a show together and when we went out on Lake St. Clair he had done something that I had not seen a whole lot before and remember this was about 20 some years ago he was swimming a tube just straight a white tube just swimming a tube and i'll tell you what art absolutely hammered those smallmouth on lake st Clair. and as the years have gone on tubes one have kind of fallen out of favor a little bit for some other more popular techniques and you definitely don't see anybody really swimming a tube a whole lot well, we're going to talk about it today and explain why it is just a really nice subtle presentation and if you want a really aggressive presentation I'm going to talk about that at the end of the video so make sure that you stay tuned for it but a tube just is an excellent all-around bait for coming through all types of cover and it mimics all types of forage species but it's going to be real critical that you go ahead and use an insert tube head and for this particular uh, presentation today I've got a quarter ounce if you want to target some deeper water go ahead and hit a three-eighths of an ounce uh, but the insert tube head and you'll see it here in the underwater footage just creates such a random fall a random drop you never know which way that thing is going to go it can dart any direction so an insert tube head for swimming is by far and away the best now sometimes if, if you do this if you start to reel really quickly or it's not rigged quite right it might spin on you some guys do like to put a swivel up the line a barrel swivel to eliminate any line twist but if you go nice and slow and make sure it's rigged straight you're not going to have any problem with line twist whatsoever so make sure you have an insert tube head as far as the color goes really it's what what's the forage base that you've got if you're fishing where there's lots of alewives and shad your whites your silvers your grays are an excellent choice if you've got more yellow perch bluegill sunfish then obviously match those particular forage species but there's three types of presentations i want to go over with you today for this tube swimming on every one of them unless you're working really shallow cover every one of them go ahead and toss it out and leave it sink all the way to the bottom once you see that line has stopped sinking go ahead and give it a small pop and then the first retrieve is just the straight swim you're just literally swimming it straight nice and slow and as you can see it just has this super enticing look to it under the water just slides right through the water very similar to a swim bait like i said but it's a very finesse presentation you don't have that paddle tail thumping away um, it, it's just a really smooth presentation slides through grass nicely slides over rocks really really well the second presentation is what I like to call the pulse, very similar to how you would, or the way I like to fish a swim jig. So once again, throw it out there, leave it sink, give it a small pop when it hits, and this is the one I like. I like the pulse, just like this. Just pulse it a little bit with the rod tip, and as you can see this bait underwater, it just darts and glides as it's going very similar to how a minnow if you've watched minnows in the shallows how they'll just kick kick it's the same type of a thing so i call this one the pulse retrieve really really effective retrieve um, one of my favorites for sure like i said i do it on a swim jig all the time the third retrieve is the pulse and drop and this is where we get that enticing action of that insert tube head really shine so once again throw it out let it sink when it hits the bottom pop it then i'm going to go ahead and reel it 
for two or three or four and then let it drop drop down on a slack line let it hit bottom again give it a slight pop reel it two three four times slack line let it drop back down and as you can see here that bait is swimming then glides down to the bottom pops up swims glides back to the bottom it's very reminiscent of some sort of bait fish or prey fish that is struggling to stay afloat and it kicks that feeding instinct in and if you've got a lake or river system that you are fishing that has a lot of vegetation to it this is really nice because when it hits bottom and you give it that pop you can rip it free of that vegetation and the weeds and a lot of times that's when that strike is going to happen right when you rip that tube free now as far as the strike when you get a bite since you are swimming it you will definitely feel a thump or it will load up but with the insert tube head the, the hook is 100 percent exposed all you have to do is just reel down so as i'm fishing this bait i'm doing the pulse and swim here and i feel that thump just reel down to it and maintain pressure and that fish is going to come all the way to the boat for you for sure this particular technique swim in a tube works best in waters that have got some clarity to it so if you've got some real clear water or visibility of a foot two feet you know three four feet this presentation definitely works well it's not the best to be using in a muddy water type of a situation and i by far have the best luck with it on spinning gear because sometimes those tubes can be hard to throw in wind windy conditions so that is kind of the setup i do have a medium heavy power rated rod here that i'm using with this i do like it to get to some backbone pretty quick especially since i'm just reeling down and maintaining pressure on the fish i don't want too much sponge on the end of the line there now if you really want an aggressive way to go ahead and fish a tube i highly recommend this video right here cracking a tube go ahead and click on that we talk about it it's one of mark zona's favorite methods to fish a tube so go ahead and hit that right there and it'll take you to that video and don't forget to go out and encourage someone today because you never know how you might just change their life for the bass fishing life i'm your host steve rogers